Mr. Secretary General. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you, Secretary Mattis. Uh, welcome, General Votel, and welcome back, Ambassador McGurk. Uh, it's uh, great to see you all here, ministers, uh, colleagues. It is a pleasure to see you all at uh, the NATO headquarters. Let me commend the nations gathered here as part of the global uh, coalition. Since September 2014, you have made tremendous strides towards the eventual defeat of ISIL, retaking the battlefield, uh, countering propaganda, and breaking affiliated networks, each uh, contributing in your own ways. Today, ISIL and terrorism remain among the most pressing challenges we face. While NATO itself is not a formal member of the coalition against ISIL, every NATO ally is contributing to coalition efforts, drawing on decades uh, of experience working together on allied operations and missions. NATO has also for many years been in the fight against terrorism. We are in Afghanistan, our biggest military operation ever, to prevent its return uh, to a safe haven for international terrorism. We are deploying our AWACS aircraft in support of coalition operations and training Iraqi security forces. More broadly, we are sharing intelligence to improve understanding of the threat. Working closely with partners in the Middle East and North Africa to help them secure their borders and territory. Establishing a new regional center in Kuwait to coordinate our work in the Gulf. But we have the potential to do more. Training local forces is one of the best weapons we have in the fight against terrorism and building stability. That's a lesson NATO has learned from our experience in the Western Balkans and in Afghanistan. NATO has proven capabilities and structures to make a real difference as a force multiplier over the long term. The defeat of ISIL is a global generational challenge that requires a global generational response. This coalition has an unwavering commitment to see this fight to its conclusion. This is reinforced through the contributions by each of your nations. So I am confident that those under threat from ISIL will again live in peace. So thank you once again, and then I hand over the floor to uh, the meeting chairman, Secretary Mattis, please. Well, thank you, uh, Secretary General, ministers and colleagues. We are united in this fight to defeat ISIS. And I would just say that I appreciate deeply you taking the time to come here as we orchestrate <clears throat> the international pressure on our terrorist enemy and enhance the current counter ISIL fight. Uh, I would just say, too, that this is not something that will be over with quickly, but we certainly intend to accelerate this fight. One of the reasons we're here today is to lay this out to you. So thank you again for attending, and the press uh, is now excused.